subscribers. Welcome back to another episode of Science with Serbac. Today what we're going to be doing is practice problems or extra problems on molarity. So I'm going to show you a few example problems and then any problems I don't do, I'm going to expect you to complete. So with molarity, again, you hear the R, molarity, the formula is as follows. Big M for molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Again, molarity, big M, moles of solute divided by liters of solution. This is key to solving these types of problems. Now, 1A through 1C is pretty simple, so I'm going to skip over that and I'm gonna jump right to 2A. So it says, what is the molarity of the following solutions? We have 0.96 grams of magnesium chloride, or MgCl2, in 500 milliliters of solution. So again, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get moles of solute. We have grams, so we need to do a conversion. So we start out by writing down 0.96 grams of MgCl2, and we set up our conversion. Again, we always cancel units diagonal, so we have grams of MgCl2 on bottom, and on top we can have moles of Mg, MgCl2. Now, gram over mole or mole over gram, we need the molar mass. Again, you could utilize the periodic table. I went ahead and looked this up. And so the molar mass of magnesium chloride is 95.21 grams per mole. Okay, so the 95 number is associated with grams. So in this case here, it is gonna go on bottom. So we have 95.21 grams per one mole. All right, so what we do here is just take 0.96 grams divided by 95.21. So I'm gonna take 0.96 divided by 95.21. And our value for our moles, we're gonna round to, uh, we're gonna round to two significant digits, would be 0.01 O moles. So again, 0 0.010 moles of MgCl2. So the next thing that we need is liters of solution. Unfortunately, we're given milliliters of solution, so we need to convert this over. Okay, so we need liters, so we're going to take 500 milliliters and we're going to convert it. Now, there is 1,000 milliliters for every one liter. So to find out how many liters we have of this particular solution, we take 500 divided by 1,000. And we get a value of 0.5. So there's 0.5 liters of solution, okay? Now we can utilize these values to find our molarity. So our capital M is equal to 0 0.010 moles of magnesium chloride, all divided by our liters of solution, which is 0 0.500 liters. So what we do in our calculator is we take 0 0.01 divided by 0.5, we press enter, and we get a value of 0 0.02 big M MgCl2. So our molarity equals 0 0.02 big M for molarity, and then you always put the substance so we can identify what's in or what is the solute of that particular solution. That becomes our answer. All right, so again, these problems on this page also need to be completed. I'm gonna show you one more example on this extra problem, and it is problem 4A. So, it says here on problem 4A, 
how many grams of solute are contained in the following solutions? Well, we have 64.3 milliliters of 0.2, excuse me, 0 0.0238 molar potassium hydroxide. Well, we need to think about this. We have a couple of things here. Number one, we're still going to utilize the molarity formula, which is big M equals moles of our solute divided by liters of solution. And so let's go ahead, let's just plug the values that were given into this particular equation. So in this problem, 4A, we are given, we are given the molarity of the solution. And that is found to be 0 0.0238 big M for molarity. Now this is equal to the number of moles. Nowhere in here is there either moles or grams of that solute given. So what we can do here, we can call this X of moles of our solute, which our solute is potassium hydroxide. So we could put KOH in parentheses, okay? Now, we need to divide this by liters of solution. Again, we're given we're given milliliters, so that means we need to convert that to liters. So we need to take 64.3 milliliters and we need to convert that to liters. Once more, there is a thousand milliliters in every one liter. So if we grab our calculator, if we grab our calculator, we have 64.3 divided by 1000 gives us a value of 0 0.0643 liters. Again, this is 0 0.0643 liters. All right, so now I'm just going to place this value right here. So 0 0.0643 liters. Okay, so what happens here? What happens here is this. All I'm gonna do is cross multiply to find out our number of moles of solute, okay? So what we have here is this. I'm gonna take 0 0.0238 times 0 0.0643. We press enter and we get a value of 0 0.00153. Again, I'm gonna use three significant digits. So 0 0.00153 moles of our KOH. Now, the problem says what is the number of grams or how many grams are in this particular substance? And we need grams because we don't have a, a mole scale. We have a scale that measures in grams. So we're gonna have to do one more conversion. So I'm gonna take 0 0.00153 moles and I'm gonna rewrite it down below. So 0 0.00153 moles of K. O H. Now we set up our conversion. So moles of KOH, moles of KOH will cancel on bottom. And on top, we can convert to grams of KOH. Now again, gram over mole or mole over gram, we're going to have to utilize our molar mass of, of KOH. And you could take the time to go through and calculate it. But I went ahead and I just looked it up. The molar mass of KOH is 56.11 grams per mole. The 56 number is associated with that grams. So we put 56.11 grams per one mole. Now, all we need to do here is take 0 0.00153 times 56.11. So 0 0.00153 times 56.11, press enter. We need to divide it by one, so I keep that answer plugged in, and I divide it by one, and we get a value of 0 0.0858 grams of KOH. So again, 0 0.0858 grams of KOH. Again, the whole key about this is we need to utilize our molarity formula. So whenever you see a big M, that means we need to use that molarity formula. And just so it's clearly written, 
our answer again is 0 0.0858 grams. And this is almost a backwards way or backwards method that we solved or compared to that first problem I showed. All right, I need you to do the remaining problems on your own. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe.